ladies. Oh man. And Saber Sparks. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Boys and girls of all ages. Welcome, welcome to Professor Screw Eyes Eccentric Sex. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the semi perfect podcast. The date is May. First. Hey guys. 2021. Yesterday. It was gonna be May. It's gonna be May. It's gonna be May. So, what, what do you say today? <laughs> it's, it's May. May. <laughs> it's May. <laughs> Amazing. Oh God. Uh, so, welcome in May first, two thousand nineteen podcast is the semi perfect podcast with our usual cast of characters joining us here tonight. I want to thank everyone for uh, joining in. Um, I'm loving the uh, chat section right now where everyone's saying that I just ate Judy. Mm-hmm. He actually he didn't. Does that he decided not to cut up Judy and then eat her head. God, uh. <laughs> Never gonna. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. So, uh, yeah, welcome. I've seen, I've, I've seen that video. Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, we're going to be discussing a couple things here today, including the uh, new episodes of My Little Pony, which when we get to them, we'll put up a spoiler screen. So for anyone that's new, don't worry. We will give plenty of warning when we're discussing anything spoilery. Um, Sorry, guys. So also, um, as a disclaimer and heads up for anyone that is worried or on the edge about it, uh, we have no intentions on discussing any spoilers for any movies that may have come out in recent days. So, Such we as ask, Endgame. Yes. So we, we <laughs> also ask uh, the same for our chat to keep that in mind. That being said, Sarah, hi. Hi. We also are going to be talking about a convention that you didn't go to. Mm-hmm. But... Saber, Laura, and I did go to. Woo! Yeah, um, I went to that. We did, and uh, that was BabsCon. So we'll talk a little bit about stories from that convention. Um, yeah, so plenty to, plenty to discuss. A lot of fun to be had in this yeah. night. So thank you for joining us. Of course, we'll get to Q and A a little bit later. But Sarah, to start off each semi-perfect podcast, let's talk about food. <laughs> Someone says they have a wedding gift video for us. Yeah. Well, for me, not you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, it's for both right. of us. Oh, they're, they're yeah. making one. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exciting. I look forward to it. So, Sarah, show me the food. Food. Oh, food. Food. Okay. Food. Food. I'm getting to it. One <clears> second. <throat> oh. Gotta get used to the dual screens. While you do that, I'll go ahead and introduce. Joining us here tonight, Saber Spork. Hey, it's good to be here, Racy Race Bus. How are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty exciting. Uh, Laura. Hey. Very good. Paleo. Um. <laughs> There's that. Uh, I'm already dreading hearing that shit when he visits me this Sunday. Poncho. Poncho. Is that how he wakes up? Yeah, no shit. One morning I woke up and I'm like, good morning. He's like, ah! I'm like, Fuck, I hate this guy. Why did they invite him over? Uh, Hiro Sashi's in the house. Hello, guys. We got Toodles. And all. And we got AC Race Best. Hi. So, <laughs> let's jump into the food. All right. I don't know what this is exactly going to look like yet because I resized the screen. One second. Sarah, you've ruined this podcast. No, I didn't. Destroyed. Why did I hire you to do this for me? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, this ain't right. Okay, one second. <laughs> I resized the screen and I just realized now that that's probably not like a good thing to do. Shit. Sarah, I am so disappointed. Yeah. If if okay, if I have to hear this one more time. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be lame. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Okay. No, stop it. No, what? No. Ugly. Uh, so no. Uh, uh, uh. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm loving Whoa. this so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the greatest uh, Nashville hot chicken I've ever seen. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm 
So specific. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> We've got... Yes, we got Star Sapphire with... Um... Oh, wait. I didn't mean to... I just didn't scroll down yet. But uh, we'll just go ahead and cover this one. Tried creating a natural hot chicken from KFC. Mm. Flavor is pretty close, but yes. chicken should have been cut smaller. What were they thinking? Yeah. Well, hold on. So let me... Are we, are we starting from when now? Oh, well, we, we started a little higher yeah, up, but sorry. we're, we're going to go to the bottom. We're going to go down. We're going to uh, do this properly. Is it SPP 25? Foods or food? SPP Foods, plural. I'm about to say 2018. Oh, April 20. Uh, okay. All, right. All right, I'm scrolling down. Let's see what we got here. All right. So we have are we, Norse. Are, are, we start, are we starting with the person who first posted? Yeah, so Norse yeah. Brony would be the first one we're looking All at. Right. All right. All right. All right. I just sound like, yeah, her. <laughs> and, I, and I love the start, actually. We got that. This is a good start for a food post. Or I should say a good continuation because we wow, started Wow, we with... got ourselves some sausage, uh, some hash browns, some toast, and a big old ham on the screen. Too. Eggs. Did you say ham on the screen? Yep. Yeah. I know well. what I said. Wow. Norris Brody says, bit odd. I'm having a breakfast meal. Just something my family does at times. Three hash browns, two bacon slices, two eggs, and three sausages, and some buttered That's toast. Hearty. Yeah. All... So, so, I want that. Breakfast for dinner is actually, like, real great. Really great. That's <laughs> I love why it. I, like, that's why I actually really love Denny's. If people like Denny's, all right. I'm like, every time I go to Denny's, I'm happy, man. I just want to eat breakfast for dinner. <laughs> Hero, thank you for not being afraid to admit that you like Denny's. There's a, so I, 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 I have like respect's not the right word, but folks who like, <laughs> no, no, not I never have respect for you, but like the uh, oh, thank you. For, for folks who go to Waffle House, like, oh, you go to Waffle House, it's like folks who go to Waffle House know what they're eating, they know what they're paying, it's not a big fucking deal. Yeah, it's like, like going to Waffle House, yeah, it's 4 a.m. Where else? Yeah, it's 4 a.m. Go? <laughs> I got two pennies, all right? So, yeah, I'm going to go to Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be well, honest. Uh, no. I'm probably going to have Waffle House in the next few days. Yeah. Race track stuff, I can imagine. Cause... Yes, it is. Yep. I'll be yeah, in Indiana. Well, people who go to Waffle I, Anthony Bourdain once explained Waffle House as this magical place where everybody is the same and it's trash food in a trashy environment and you embrace it. And I respect that. But, but Norris Brony, your food doesn't look trashy. Pretty damn good. Oh yeah, no, it looks Stop good. I am <laughs> so excited <laughs> about this next about one. This next one. <laughs> we got Soren, mm -hmm. got mostly finished pizza, pizzas right? with whole yeah. milk. Yeah. I also wanted to share pics, if okay, of a Judy Hopps Easter egg I made by hand. Aww. Sad story though, just of, as fin I finished and accidentally dropped her, so pics are of a cracked bunny. Oh no. I was kind of sad. Hope you like it anyway. Cracked. Oh, you guys no. probably like to crack the bunny anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Whoa! He likes the bunnies crack. <laughs> are y'all are y'all streaming, by the way? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how this works. <laughs> I, why are you asking? I, I, don't see it I don't see it live. Maybe, I'm drunk. Never mind. It is. You're good. Are you drunk? We just started like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and I started an hour ago. Good job, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephen. All right, we got... Whoops. I got David 3X, banana in my drawing of my OC. Always a good combination. Nice. A banana and an OC. Nice, dude. We got here from Railroad Bernie's repping their lemonade. And we got ourselves some garlic bread and spaghetti. All right. You can't go wrong with the carbohydrate load, man. That is a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Spaghetti. <laughs> A lot of spaghetti. Oh, oh my god. Okay. So, I'm going to be real with you guys. Garlic so, bread is yeah. like top tier food. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Sarah, you're missing out so much. Oh, I make my own. <laughs> she, can, she actually makes her yeah. own. Sarah can't even eat food. She uses photosynthesis. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I see her open her skin flaps on her neck and just stand there for an hour. And she's like, I'm full. Hey, yeah, I like those skin good. flaps, okay? That's how she attracted you. Yeah. You know, someone she probably said, just walked in. And she then... said, roar, and she opened her skin flaps. <laughs> Next up is uh. Nikki D. <laughs> Protein bars, drinks, and working on a peer review. Send help. I'm seeing this right now. I am finding mm. multiple mistakes. You might want to start over. 
Peer reviewing is the worst. You get to look at other people's like grammar and how they write papers, and you just want to like cry that you're in the same school as them. Legit, <laughs> guys. I, 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 again, I cannot explain how lucky I'm in life with with where I am because I look back on school, and if someone said, "Hey, say it, we have to do this all over again," I'd probably start crying because college. <laughs> Like, the days of having to stay up to 3 a.m. studying for exams or doing a project, I'm done with that shit. Mm -hmm. At least I get paid for it now instead right. of the other way around. So, like, it's just, Tell me about I don't, like, my heart goes out to people who still do school and work hard. Like, that shit is not easy. I just find it so funny. Because, like, I really took it to heart because everyone said it. was like, oh, man, once you get out of college, you're going to miss it. I'm like, boy. No, no. Way. <laughs> I don't miss the I, I miss the experience, but it's also, like, behind me, which makes it an experience. So yeah, yeah. I miss like, the ability to just not go into class and not have, <laughs> like, really any repercussions for that. <laughs> I... I think my grandma died like seven times during college to get out of stuff, so I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, Princess Deadpool. Uh, first time watching SPP in, in new bedroom in Burbank. Have to go to work later tonight for breakfast for dinner. Seem oh, so breakfast for Dude. dinner seems fitting. Chicken and waffles uh -huh. plus a cup of coffee. And yes, that's my real name on the mug. Did we miss? Did we miss a What's memo here? Everyone's it's having breakfast for dinner day. By the way, I want to put what this out. Railroad bronies, uh, as well. We met them at uh, Babscon. Yeah, 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 we did. Saw them at Babscon. Y'all keep talking. I gotta pee. Go for it. Have fun. Um. So yeah, that was that was uh, good to see. Mm -hmm. Um. Of course, uh, we got a, a number of people that are that are here tonight. Uh, yeah. That were also at Babscon. We'll we'll get into everyone's Babscon stories later. But uh, I don't think I don't think I've ever seen PD without his uh, without the, the the Deadpool mask on. Yeah. Well, there you go. Now I want to point this out before we move on. Um, when Saber said that his grandma died seven times <laughs> in college, I honestly thought that he meant that's Believe how she them. got out of class. <laughs> Um, like you know after like the second time i think they'd start to get skeptical like, did you really <laughs> die last weekend yeah i was dead but i'm back now yeah i got to pay to science is amazing mm -hmm. what what's up next sarah we've got noir with hey first time watching for real and sbp live i'm eating a chicken filled brazilian cheese bread accompanied by yellow mustard after coming home depressed from les vineyards did I say that right? I hope so. Well, welcome to the podcast. I'm so intrigued by this chicken filled chicken filled Brazilian cheese bread with mustard. With mustard. That, look, there's it, so much happening in this post. It looks good. Yeah, it's so. It's a banana. Yeah. Yeah, there's a banana. What's that there's to the left? A banana. <laughs> a banana. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think that's like a maybe a angel food cake or a pound and cake. And I see they have a bowl of cup. <laughs> a bowl of cup. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> no, that looks interesting. Like, like, I gotta not tell you all a story. Okay. Oh, geez. Here comes the story. All right, so you I took it very quickly. I took, dude, I don't even know how because I, I had a bowl of rice and a salad. Hey, Lammy. What? <laughs> uh, I, I took Lamy for a walk today and I went to a park and there was like a bunch of kids playing soccer and basketball and parents sitting on little bleachers and I'm walking around listening to the new Godzilla cover from uh, Paleo help me here, what was it from? Oh, it Paleo Bear, Bear okay. McCreary, but it had like featured Serge Tanky and the, uh, the uh, lead singer of System of the Down <laughs> So I'm jamming out to this shit very loudly, and I realized I am wearing my Godzilla shirt. And during my walk, my headphones pop out, and I think you'd hear the blaring Godzilla in the background. <laughs> and I, I'm in front of the bleachers, and these people are looking at a 30-year-old man-child <laughs> miniature poodle with his Godzilla shirt on, listening to Godzilla music. <laughs> I just felt so stupid for... <laughs> And then I realize I don't give a fuck because I'm an adult. <laughs> I can literally have double down right there and go, and just scream into the sky. But like, yeah, I don't know. I just but then I, you that's startle like, Lammy. No, we never start. What's really what's cool about Lammy going deaf is I can play music loud now, and Aww, he's completely he's cool. Way to go, Lammy. No, 
Dude, Party. I buy Lamy. I, I every room in my house is is been customized for Lamy, where I have blankets in every room, and you have to like cover up the corners of tables now because he just jumps. <laughs> right, he springs off like Sonic the Hedgehog of a spring. We'll talk about that later. But uh, <laughs> one last tangent. So, in my last apartment, Lamy was afraid hanging out in my office because I used to scream at video games. That was a fucking baby. Mm-hmm. But I don't play games anymore. And now Lamy's cool with coming back into my office and hanging out with me. He's here right now, as a matter of fact. So yeah. uh, it's the small things in life, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so continuing. Food... I'm so sorry. More yeah. food. <laughs> Fritz Roll. <laughs> it's okay. We like Story Saber. You know that. Fritz Roll says, here's an what Avengers treat for you. Uh, uh, oh, it's a popcorn bucket and a cup of water. Wow. Whoa. Ooh, water. Uh, in other Which news, ones? to all my sub, oh, they're making a uh, Avengers uh, review. review that'll be released oh, later this week. Cool. It's a nice. cool couple of cups. I never take popcorn home. A couple of cups. <laughs> I, should I? Maybe I should. Oh. Maybe Holy I've been shit. doing it. Oh god, I thought that was salt on that sandwich. It's mayonnaise. Holy fuck! I got scared. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> The, the this next person come on. Oh, but it, look at around the sand. It's your blue boy, Lightning. Just made an awesome burger and worked on some new badges for Everfree Northwest. Aww. So excited for the con. That looks awesome. awesome. Oh, they're so cute. They're Aww, cute. They are so adorable. Nice. Thank y'all. Wait, where's Gabe? Uh, I don't know. On the right side. Oh, you mean in real life. Uh, <laughs> what kind of question is that? Is he ever here on time? Yeah, no. he was last Wait, time. Wait, is, is that is that the the one on the the third one? That's Saber. No, I'm not going uh, to the con. Oh, who is this? I don't know who it is. Maybe it's Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought it was Saber for a second. I was like, Saber, you do some anime cool ass hair, dude. My dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but. Blue boy, I, I I want you to know, I never judge a person for any reason whatsoever except for stuff. But like ketchup and avocados just blows my mind right now. I don't know how I feel about that. That <laughs> I mean, you you, that. you 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 do you, son. <laughs> but, but if someone put that on my face, I'd turn away and be like, no, thank you. No, but I've had I've had. Uh, mm. I gotta try it now. Damn it! Shit, maybe I'm wrong. See, I'm trying I to saw... think. <clears throat> Have I had it? Would you, would you eat minnows? Like just straight up eat minnows? Like the fish? Cooked? Yeah. No. No. Okay. No, it's too much of just like all of it, and it's like you're not gonna separate the meat. That's ridiculous. There was some like person on TikTok who like went to a stream and caught a bunch of minnows and cooked them up and ate them like straight up all of them like entire bites. And I was Were like, you, like what? thirteen years old. <laughs> No, they're like 18 or something. I don't know. It was just interesting. I never... So, yes. <laughs> Who's this next post from? Uh, Cosmic Melody. Uh, <gasps> it's my girlfriend. What? Made a teeny tiny pizza. Tiny pizza. Give, give me perspective oh, on this, Laura. Uh, How big tell is us about it? Oh, um, I can't anymore because I ate it all. Well, I mean, Laura, was all this about it? Did you think it kind of was? It was like about the size of like my hand if i stretch out all my fingers all the way okay oh, okay okay that, that's Laura, hard for me uh, because my hands are you actually mongus <laughs> well not your else's. hands we're talking yeah. about my hands here. your hands okay it's not always about, Which about one whoa <laughs> well hold on a second laura, laura what, what kind of what kind of bread was it i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but it was just like a, I got some pizza dough from the grocery store and it was like garlic and herb dough and I made pizza. Oh, wow. Nice. What about this tasty looking yeah, thing? Cool blue. The switch be looking pretty tasty. Don't, I see you got the lemon don't eat flavor. the cartridges because those are bitter. Uh, that, 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 they actually I was about to say, that's, that's an expensive food, but then I realized it's one half of the price of that wine we saw at Ronicon, so... <laughs> really, really, really. So we, we have one more here, but I think there's two, at least two more that we're, we're going to look into. Okay. Because I keep seeing Nora saying, where's my post? Oh. So so for summer... I don't know. Twitter Twitter's being unreliable. Yeah, like, with hashtags. I mean, I saw the post you guys missed. 
Oh, weird. What did you did say? Did we scroll past it? Did, yeah, did we miss it? No, it didn't show up for you for some reason. I don't know why. What the actual F? All right, we got Severeth made some chicken Alfredo and watching the semi-perfect pod. Nice. Chicken nice. Alfredo is like really close chicken to top tier food. And got the Twilight Sparkles and a wolf. Wait, oh, yes, there's a wolf. <laughs> I'm like, my eyeballs, but I don't have my glasses maybe on. Maybe so like, a wolf cat. Oh, what drink is that? Is uh, it Coke? Check the notifications. All right, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to something. notifications here. I don't know. And just see, look, look. There's a cadet post that we didn't get. Oh. I'm gonna just scroll down. So I guess there's a backup plan oh, for wait, people. Wait, 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 what the heck? We okay. missed Taylor's. Interesting. Okay, because uh, so what we'll do is as a backup plan, just tag us in it, and yeah. we'll we'll go here we'll too. We'll go through our notifications. Uh, we'll do the same thing for the questions and try and figure it out. The, click on the post. Click so on the post. It's big. Yeah. All right. So we have Taylor okay. here who we also saw at BabsCon. Uh, it says, first official food post, uh, baked up some DiGiorno pizza and a side salad. I love baking side salads. The salad isn't included <laughs> because it's not worthy to be in this post. See, now this is a person who understands their food yeah. priorities. Now, that see that pizza? It does not look like delivery. Because <laughs> it's DiGiorno. I, okay. I think it's I think DiGiorno says it's supposed to actually. Oh wait, what? But wait. Oh, okay, fine. It's DiGiorno. It's fine. <laughs> DiGiorno. Okay. I made a dumb joke. Uh, Very. Did you see this one? Yeah, we saw. It. <laughs> we saw it. I enjoyed it. So here's Nora. Here's Nora. Semi perfect pod having leftover pasta from the graduation party from last night, which I am still recovering from. L O L. I still can't believe I'm a college graduate. Congrats! <laughs> Yay! Good job, Congratulations. Yeah. I love your cap. It's so cute. The pasta looks good. I like the cup. And I like the. Oh, let's see. Look at the hat. One small thing. Nora Morales. No. That's the best song in that movie. No, <laughs> in my opinion, and I'm alone, but that's all right. <laughs> my opinion's bigger than yours. Awesome. Right. <laughs> Let's not Let's compare see. sizes of our opinions. Okay, we had one more. Uh, one yeah, Cadet, Cadet, who we also saw. One of our moderators. At BabsCon. A pretty oh. tasty Cadet. rarity I'm working on. Oh, Ooh, Cadet. Art preview. When you say so a fancy. tasty Check rarity. out her Patreon. Ooh. She does art for the Semi-Perfect Podcast, and she's also our moderator. What? Cadet Red Shirt at Patreon. Yeah, we saw a Cadet <laughs> at BabsCon Patreon. also. Cool. Okay, so I think I think we got through everything there. Again, congratulations uh, to Nora and mm -hmm. anyone else who may have graduated in the last few weeks. Uh, also, awesome. did well on your exams. Good job, also. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so, good job, everybody, all around. Y'all did a great job this past few weeks. Everyone Thank just, you. everyone just kicked butt. Like literally, <laughs> everyone. Good work. Even if, even if you don't think you did, you did good. Yeah. Speaking of the last two weeks, I want to hear stories. Hero, do you have any stories from the last two weeks? I feel like I should, but I don't. Um. Oh. Um. I, I lived life. Yep. That makes me happy. That, man, really, I have done nothing interesting. I passed a hard song in Sound Voltex, if that nice. counts. Nice. <laughs> what about Laura? What have you been up to the last two weeks? Um, working, doing a bunch of nothing. Mm hmm. Nice. That's how it goes. <laughs> I wake up, and then I go to work, and then I come home and make dinner. And then I watch some stuff and then go to sleep. Cool. Nice. That's pretty much every day. <laughs> so are you are you starting to feel more settled in in your new location? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely like I have more of my things up here now, so it's more cozy. The area is still kind of, it's like very close to like a bunch of city stuff, so it's like a little too noisy for me, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Paleo, what about you? How have your last two weeks been? I watched Hop. <laughs> Hop. Oh, really Wait. bad. The, the <laughs> Easter Bunny movie? But, yeah, I, I oh, did okay. it for Easter. Yeah. You saw the Sonic prequel? <laughs> yeah, the Sonic prequel, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even the same same actor, James yeah. Marsden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that, like, 
that has such a similar shot with him in the car with him. It's like the Fast and Furious people were like, we really liked you in Hop, so we're going to use you for Sonic. <laughs> I just want to point out that Fireteam Harmony just posted in the chat saying, hey, AC, about the upcoming Bronies React, are you cool if we don't react to what you told us to, but uh, instead react to the Sonic trailer on loop? Nice, Sweet dude. Thing. That's what you I did. should do. <laughs> you, you missed that part where they already yeah. did it. I ignored that part. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, cool, Paleo. Sarah and I recently watched Hop in the last, like, six months. Yeah. Um, and I honestly was like, wow, this is... Bad. No. Maybe. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. It's a horrible movie. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Oh, is it horrible? I thought it was just, like, a subpar. Is it's it actually subpar, horrible? It's subpar, but, like, remember. it just... Nothing was really good about it. What do you think is better? That's the worst kind of movies. And a lot of of things are like, why did you do this when you had this? Like, Mm -hmm. the the fact that they have, like, a tunnel system that goes all around the world, yet they use a sleigh, like like Santa Claus. Like, why would you, why would you implement that concept and not use it? Like, for, for, like, uh, hiding Easter eggs and stuff, mm-hmm. rather than like using a sleigh like Santa Claus. Like, why are you they, trying to they, copy they, Christmas? Do they see the rise of the Guardians or whatever it's called? <laughs> I'm serious. The, the, there's the rabbit in that movie, and mm-hmm. it's like Australian, and it's um, <laughs> got a whole system. Yeah, which which <laughs> Rise of the Guardians actually came out the year afterwards. Rabbits are very oh, good sh- with their holes. Uh-huh. Okay. Me, uh, <laughs> movies that are like. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> if nice, you know what I mean. Anything else that you happened in the past two weeks, Paley? Uh, not much. Okay. Cool. What? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Sarah, how have your last two weeks been? <laughs> uh, well, I went to the dentist today. Yeah. Nice. Is that? <laughs> That worthy of a nice... Yeah, is that, is, is that that exciting? <laughs> the better part no, I, you no, no, sorry, we, we got caught up on... There was a... Uh, but yeah, no, I hadn't been to the dentist in like a year and a half, and I have no cavities, no bad stuff going on in my mouth whatsoever, so... Sarah has, has no holes. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, that, that's about anything noteworthy that I've... Well, I... I've recently gotten some freelance gigs, but I can't talk Ooh. about it in depth because I've signed an NDA. So. But it's work. Yeah, it's work. Oh. So that's good. That and you got free to me. You, you were inquired by another uh, potential job too, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we out here doing work. Good. <laughs> doing work. Sarah's gonna Sarah's gonna get a job that allows me to become a full time YouTuber. Hmm. I don't think so. Sarah, artists make so much money. No. No, they don't. <laughs> Just immediately shoot that down. <laughs> Fine. Um, well, cool. Uh, obviously, outside of... Uh... Oh, wait. I didn't ask Saber's part. Saber, your last two weeks. It was fantastic. I ate food. I love that. That's good. Tell me about each meal that you had in the last two weeks. Uh, okay, we go. Um, I woke up. I don't typically eat breakfast, but then like after breakfast, I kind of get hungry. Uh-huh. So I figure maybe I should have eaten breakfast. So then I think about, well, do I go out for lunch or do I go out for dinner? I can't go out for both. Well, I usually do for both. Good, because that's how I am. So I went out. Uh, this is like three weeks ago. I went he's out. And get... Tell us what he's eating. <laughs> so chapter one. I got up <laughs> one morning. I rolled over in bed, probably for like an hour, just on my phone. Looking at books from the corner of my eye, I'm like, I mean, I should read a book someday. And I don't usually. <laughs> for books for me are more wishful thinking. And then I'd roll over and I'd pet lay me, and then I'll probably, you know, I don't know, just sit around in my bed for an hour, just dreading existence. And then I get up and take a shower. Okay. And then I, sometimes I cook. I, I actually cooked a lot when Paleo was visiting, and I haven't cooked in a while. But all right, chapter 1.3. All right, so I... Oh my gosh, it's actually Kingdom Hearts, please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 1.3, Woken Dreams, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, remixed. Sounds close. Uh, I've been well, my dude. I, uh, we went to a convention, you and I, and Laura's there too. Yeah. And uh, we all hung out and saw panels and performed at panels and ate burritos and 
went to Max's Diner and watched Game of Thrones and get yelled at. It was a good time. Awesome. What, what did they yell at you for? Said, stop being fat. I'm like, I can't help it. Mm-hmm. Wait, did you say? I, I missed that part. <laughs> I said, well, remember when we ate like, a plate of nachos? Like, <laughs> Grace and I went to a diner and we decided like to get a snack before dinner. We were yeah, yeah. American that way. Mm-hmm. And I remember when we first saw the nachos, we were at the diner the day before, and we saw a big, massive plate of nachos being brought out for a table of, like, a dozen people. And we're like, damn, that looks good. And we got our own plate for two of us, and we almost finished it. And two, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Grace and I really are just big old pieces of shit who eat everything. <laughs> this, was, this was maybe an hour and a half before we were going to be back for dinner. Oh, no, we, we we ate a big meal. I had to run back for a panel, and we sprinted, like, half a mile. Or sprinted, quote-unquote. We ran, quote-unquote, half a mile back to the hotel because we were late for a panel. And I, I felt like someone took like a dagger and stabbed my kidney. It was, like, the worst. Yeah. And even then, we got we got to the panel, and, we, and it would be 30 more minutes until I started. Yeah, which which will uh will embellish even more details on that one, but a uh, lot of good food. So, all right. Um, well, uh, as Saber mentioned, BabsCon was of course a big part of my last two weeks. Um, outside of that, doing the racing stuff on the weekends, doing um, you know, working during the week. Sarah, is there anything exciting? That I'm not thinking of. Uh, we've done. It. I mean, I know we got our new desk here. Yeah, Did we got that. a new desk, and we have got dual screens working now. Yeah, I We're... finally, I finally did it. Uh, I did everything. <laughs> I she built did. the desk. She even built the desk. I, you know, organized everything. I got the cord for the dual screen thing to work. I um, bought, I bought old Easter candy. That's what I did in the last two weeks. Yeah. Sarah said I could buy five. Oh my gosh! Actually, I want to po- make a, a tweet about this, um, but <laughs> I, I, I might just do it right now. Um, there's something really weird that I've noticed uh, when I went shopping mm-hmm. for this Easter candy is they have really weird names for their big Easter bunnies things that you buy now. The big yeah. like you know the big old chocolate bunnies that you buy yes um i'm pretty sure they're now named by like like i think dildo companies are <laughs> the ones naming them yeah nice dude uh, yeah um, like i'm gonna post one of these yeah. like like here's here's some of the names and and until i get to the last one you'll probably question where i'm going with this but like you got like hoppy's hideout which is very dirty you got <laughs> the, are... hero. the hero the <laughs> hero hmm uh, Flopsy, which I could see being a bunny <laughs> name. Uh, and then there's this one, the professor. The professor. And Problem I'm like, uh, the professor is the biggest of them all. I'm just, I'm just gonna post this. Our dildo companies. <laughs> and we'll retweet it on the semi perfect pod Twitter, just so you guys can companies. stay in, in touch with in what the- this post is. Once he posts it, just give him a minute to type. There, does that look good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flopsy the copsy. <laughs> there was a um. There was one bunny that had very very long ears. Is that one in the picture? That's the. Is that the flopsy one? Uh-oh. Uh oh. No. The really you didn't one. get that one. Oh no! Yeah, that that's right. The left of the that was the one that you're like that could be used as one. <laughs> All right, did you post it? Yeah, I posted it. This all is right. so dumb, but I did it anyways. I did it for you all. All right, I'm gonna retweet that on the semi perfect pod Twitter. Uh, if I find it. <laughs> it just like who names like. Like I'm sorry, but the professor. Oh, no. What kind of like that's literally like I think I've seen a toy named that in an adult store once. Did it have a monocle? No. No. The hell, dude! It just has a book. It's like holding a book. Oh boy! So there it is. I just tweeted it, so you can see. 
but uh, the low <laughs> price is at Ralph's. Congrats to us all. Um, yeah. So uh, that all being said, very fun times. Um, I hope everyone did have a great last two weeks. Uh, I figure now probably is a good time to jump into talk about uh what do you think should we start talking about babscon right now how about we do episodes okay we could do episodes so what we're gonna do sarah's gonna put up a spoiler screen if you haven't seen the episode yet and don't want to be spoiled uh you can keep the video up and go ahead and mute us and what we will do is once we're done discussing anything that involves spoilers, we will take the spoiler screen down, and that is your sign to come back in. Yes. All right, Sarah, take it away. All right, first episode is Sparkle 7. It was the 200th episode special. And in this episode, Twilight Sparkle and Shining Armor pit their wits against each other to settle a long-standing sibling rivalry. But they soon discover they are not the only competitors. So, this was a fun episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was good. It's it's funny because I didn't appreciate it as much as I probably should have until later. Because uh-huh. I didn't... I didn't want to find out any spoilers, so I didn't read up anything on this episode. So I didn't even know, like, how it was put together Mm -hmm. and how, like, each of the voice actresses had a part in choosing what each of their characters got to do, which is cool. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. And and, uh, Laura Sabre and I actually did a live viewing um, and recorded it. But if you've been following along on my Twitter, I've been having some super big issues uh, with Hasbro this week in regards to getting that up. What Hasbro? No way. I know, I know. They've they've been doing so good. <laughs> so so unlike them. <laughs> so so yeah. Because uh, I I remember Saber and I kind of were like, oh, you know, that was that was, that was a solid episode. Yeah. There's actually a really good explanation in here in this wiki article Do it. saying who, who did you know who put what in the episode. To clarify, Miller explained that Saint Germain came up with the concept of rarity or organizing a heist. Strong developed the rivalry between Twilight and Shining Armor. Libman wanted Pinkie Pie to go to space and Fluttershy to be a super spy. Ball had Rainbow Dash interact with Zephyr Breeze and Applejack's country singer Alter Ego. And finally, Westlook suggested Spike's relationship with Twilight as a sibling surrogate. Nice. I So, I just like the fact that Ashley Ball is the one who's like, let's put Rainbow Dash in a super awkward, Uncomfortable awkward sexual situation. Jeez. Yeah. Voice actors, don't quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, am I the I, only one that thought this episode was kind of meh? I thought it was meh, actually. I, I, I thought it was kind of awkward. And I once I saw that it was like written by the voice actors, mostly, like, and oh, I was like, sense. oh, that makes a lot of <laughs> <Yeah>. sense. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it, felt, it, it felt disjointed, which makes sense because of the, what they did. Because like, for, for how many like script readings we've been to at conventions like you can tell like yeah. when they, there's like that that kind of writing yeah which it wow. wasn't like terrible <laughs> it was just not good no uh no it was just it was disjointed what happened if you put too many cooks in the kitchen um i thought episode 100 was superior oh yeah, yeah i mean i i don't know if anyone would debate against you know, that i'm I'm sure it was pretty crazy. I, totally like, debate against I that. can't imagine this was probably. Yeah, I guess that's because you don't like fun here. Wait, I Hirosashi like would debate against that. Oh yeah. Yes, I would. I'm sorry, Sarah. You were so no, it's okay. There. No, it, it must have been like a challenge for like the writers, like to take all of this information from all the different voice actresses and actually turn it into a decent episode. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, so I want to I want to hear Hero's argument on this one. Yeah. Oh, it's it's not it's not that. It's not that fun of an argument because I'm a not fun person. I thought episode 100 was like just, just like crammed to the brim with fan service, and I was yeah. just like rolling my yeah, eyes. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's exactly I, I, know, I know it's exactly the point, and that's why I exactly don't like it. <laughs> you hate like, Derpy? You wish Derpy kinda. would die? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. That's that's what we're reading Shame here, on Hero. You. Every time Derpy shows up, I really do kind of roll my eyes a little bit. Okay, guys. Well, she showed up in. Wait. I. I, No, she showed up in the the latest episode. Oh, never mind. She showed up in the next episode. She may have shown up in 200. I don't remember. All right, you win this round. (laughs) Um, No, I mean, that's fair. Um, 
I I know that for me, episode one hundred is one of my favorite episodes, just because of mm-hmm. how, uh, like, off the wall it is. Like the only thing I dislike about episode one hundred is that M. A. Larson wrote it. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 No. Masters lying to us. So so okay, so going a little bit further with this episode, um obviously like a big part mm-hmm. of it being how the voice actresses got involved, and a lot of those scenarios and descriptions of what's happening were played out. Like, did you guys feel like it was there was too much of hey, here's what we could do outside of like what's actually happening in the episode? Because I, I have a big beef with this episode, but it doesn't involve like that kind of stuff. So I'll just jump into my beef. Um, <laughs> the 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 end of the episode confuses me, where like they're like, "Ha ha, Luna helped Spike," and I'm like, "Why didn't Luna just do this literally from the first minute? Like, what what was proven here? Right. Like this is this is like the referee being like, oh, this team wins because I say so.'" And they're like, "You can't do that." Yes, I can. I'm the referee. What? I was I the only one that was like really confused by the whole like oh this is why Spike wins type of thing. I mean, it, I didn't it understand. Was probably the writer's only way that they could like wrap up the what? whole episode would be like oh it was an inside. But what job. was what was Luna's point like? Because I know she's like no we need better security blah blah blah. But was she like we need to lock ourselves out of the castle because what if we're bad? I don't know. No. I clearly missed the point of whatever that was about. Yeah, I think Luna's issue is like, well, we should be doing the, you know, fighting the bad guys if they come in. And Celestia's like, no, we should probably, like, you know, have our defenses up and stuff like that. Just, you know. I don't know. It was dumb. <laughs> that was weird. That part really <laughs> confused me. I was like, huh? So... Okay. Anyone else have anything they want to say about episode 200? By the way, regardless of what we thought of the episode itself, pretty damn cool that we've made it 200 episodes. Yeah. Like, I, I, this is going to sound <laughs> weird. I like it when Spike feels bad about not being included. Yeah. Um, not because I like seeing him suffer, but just because... I do. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's just like, I don't know, it makes you... Feel more attached to his character. It's like y'all include Spike. My yeah. dude has proven himself time and time again. Yeah, Spike's such yeah. a good character. He's I a like good Spike. character. Yes. Yeah. Um, which then I guess is a good segue to the next episode because okay. I really love Spike in this episode. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes. he's so good. He's very good. He's so good at calling Twilight out on her, you know. Mm-hmm. Stupid stuff. Uh, all right. So in this episode, Twilight Sparkle realizes she never returned a book to Canterlot Library and may have caused her favorite librarian, Dusty Pages, to lose her job and die. <laughs> I was expect. Was I the only one expecting that like she was gonna find out that this librarian had died? I thought yeah. about it, but then I remembered it was My Little Pony. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was literally like, oh my god, she's going to have to live with this no, regret. even worse, she went to a retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I, think, I think my favorite part of this episode is when... Um, Do you want to tell us about it first? Oh, I... I t- I read, I read the Oh my god, you're right, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Good work. God. Jeez, race. Um, yeah, my favorite part of this episode when Twilight was, you know, doing her typical Twilighting at one point, I think when they were <laughs> stepping into the restaurant, and Spike, like, turns a little bit to the camera, and he's like, <laughs> like, doing, like, a fake cry, like, to make fun of her, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> I laughed out loud at that point. Uh, you made me into a verb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um. Uh, it was an interesting episode. Like it, it, it's almost like um, it's interesting because like she's freaking out and she's like coming to these wild like um conclusions and assumptions based on her actions, and you think that it's gonna be like the exact opposite, but actually like some of the like some of the things that she was like worried about actually happened, where like this librarian mm-hmm. actually lost her job. But the librarian was like, actually, that was like the best fucking thing that happened to me. <laughs> uh, so I was like, huh, weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I, uh, this, this was, 
trying to think. I think overall I enjoyed this episode because I again it had a lot of good like humor yeah. in it. Mm-hmm. But um, mm-hmm. man, sometimes sometimes I'm just like like what was Celestia thinking when she said Twilight you're gonna you're gonna take over my job. Right. <laughs> like the girl can't handle having a late book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my good lord. And she smells books. That was weird. I love Spike yet again calling her out on that. It's like, that's kind of weird, man. <laughs> that is 100% just a you thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, anyone else thoughts on this episode? It's just so refreshing. I, I know we're harping on Spike, but it is just so refreshing to have like snarky keep Twilight in line spike back again after like season six when yeah. he was just the butt of all shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like my best. boy's back. <laughs> that is the best version of Spike. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, not to mention, uh, like now that I always love the one two punch when Starlight glimmers around and they're yeah. both just like, Twilight, you're <laughs> you're fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're being fucked up. Stop. <laughs> Calm down, Twilight. All right, anything else before I move the spoiler screen? Um, I'm good. Yep. I'm well. That that, that that commercial only airs in North Carolina, no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they actually. I was like, they ain't gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, spoiler oh, screen. Wait, what? I I just realized. Uh, wait. like like. Ten minutes ago, oh, yeah, 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 we never yeah, yeah. acknowledged this. There was a super uh, chat. We got a super chat, uh, and I'll explain what what this is about. Um, okay, good, because I didn't know what this meant. <laughs> Sarah, go ahead and read it. All right, from Pip, does Ram Ranch really rock? From your most annoying fan. All right, Sarah, you want to know what this is? So sure. this this uh, as we start to uh, oh, I, actually, yeah, I think we're done with the spoiler screen. So yeah. so we'll go ahead and get off of that. Um, as we start letting people file in, uh, Pip sent us a super chat. Thank you. Uh, asking, does Ram Ranch really rock? Your most annoying fan. Um, we got this question at BabsCon and I had no idea what was even being referred to. And I think the person who asked us was wearing a BoJack Horseman, Mm. uh, mask. So, Mm. so it was already hard to hear. I literally like walked up to this person and they repeated the question and I was still like, I have no idea what this means. And apparently none of us did. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was explained to me later in the convention. Yeah. But apparently, like, if this is something you Google, it involves, like, a full-on male orgy. Mm. So, uh-huh. so now we all know. Oh, interesting. Oh. Thanks for that little <laughs> bit of information. Well, just in case anyone's trying to find something exciting to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about it. I, I'm not telling anyone to go look it up or anything. I'm just saying <laughs> this is what was explained to me. And if you watch the Bronies Rec panel, you'll see where we literally spent five minutes trying to figure out what the hell the question was, only to go, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> so, so there you go. Now we're all the wiser. Yeah. Yep. So, Sarah, what do you think? Now is the time to talk about BabsCon? Yes. Okay. Saber, Laura, you guys ready to talk about BabsCon? Laura stepped out. She hates me. <laughs> yeah. Good. Just how I meant for it to happen. Well, Saber, then I guess it's you and me to talk about food. And nothing more. What kind of food do you eat? Burritos. Oh. So that's it. That's all that happened <laughs> at BabsCon. <laughs> Uh, no, I apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with something. Um, yeah, it was it was a good con. I um, I like Babs. It's a party con. They get the party hallway and got a different set of faces. We go to that convention and then it was good food. I, I like Babs con. It, it's one of those like experiences where it's very unique and the set of people and the culture there is is like uh, very much so of its own. Um, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Nice. Yeah. It was it was weird uh, because it involved um, us being there. Essentially, 
our convention days were Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which was very odd. By the way, just to finish up on the story, Pip corrected me. It's a song about a cowboy orgy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not to throw anyone off. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it was. So Saber and I got there Friday night, and Laura got there Friday night. Um, Saturdays when things kicked off, we had our Bernie's React panel. Um, we, uh, we once again did Toasty Riders and Saber did exceptionally well with his alcohol this year. <laughs> yes, I was much better. You were, you were good to go. It helped that we had a massive mill just before <laughs> getting to the panel and there were, our waitress, uh, was trying to get like the checks to print out and I guess like something happened where she like rang the wrong cards up with the wrong checks She's like, oh, one second. And, of course, we're watching the time tick away. Like, at, the, at first, it was like, oh, we got plenty of time. And then, oh, man, we're pushing it. Oh, boy. We left the restaurant three minutes before the panel was supposed to start. And Sabre and I ran with full stomachs. Yeah, we, like, ran like we were. It, it's one of those things where, like, <laughs> humans are, like, the long-distance runners of, like, the natural world. And, like, we're talking about that when we were running, just kind of huffing and puffing about how, like, proud our ancestors would be seeing us keeling over from running <laughs> half a mile. <laughs> like, yeah, it was pretty sad, Sarah. I, yeah. Yeah. And, and so the funny thing is, of course, we get into the panel room. And the same thing happened last year where, where we got there and it was running a little bit late. Well, this one didn't start till like, like, we got there at... Right at seven, so we made it on time. But the panel itself, I don't think, started till like seven twenty-five. And of course, I'm just sitting there the whole time, like, <sighs> Saber, why did we do this? <laughs> why yeah, right. You guys sit next to uh, Maurice Lamar. Is that how you say his name? M- Maurice Lamarche. Yeah, yeah, he's the voice of Brain. Yeah, uh, Maurice actually had a couple interactions with Maurice. Um, the first one happened Friday night, and he was just standing outside of his out of the hotel. I, I don't know if it was with his handler or, or who, um, but Maurice was there, and I was helping move equipment for the uh, Who's Line panel. Um, our musician Jordan uh, had dropped off his keyboard. And he was talking to somebody when I came out to get the keyboard from him. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, hey, Race, this is Maurice LaMarche. And I didn't know what he looked like. So I was like, oh, okay. I had no idea. Uh, you know, and I shook his hand, said, nice to meet you. And it was funny because uh, Jordan then proceeds. He told uh, Maurice, he's like, yeah, I see Race Bus is pretty famous in this fandom. <laughs> and I, I, all but wanted to be like, well, Maurice knows that. He knows who I am. <laughs> he he knows me. Um, no, so, but uh, just in, like, the very short interaction, I could tell Maurice is a very cool guy. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, very much just down to earth. And uh, I didn't get to talk with him a lot, but uh, it, it was a cool interaction. Fast forward to the Toasty Writers panel, and there's Saber and I sitting next to Maurice, and uh that toasty writers panel this year i i i felt like this year's panel um was even better than last year's mm-hmm. and um there's a lot of good stories that that people are telling really funny moments genuinely funny moments that came out of that uh, a lot of uh relaxed individuals on that panel um and uh, maurice himself had some great stories that that he was that he told and and he and i after the panel actually pulled me aside and um, he, he was just interested, like why I wasn't drinking any alcohol, and and we had a really good uh, one-on-one chat and whatnot, and it was just again cool to just see like, you know, here's somebody that affected a lot of our childhood in many ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look at his IMDb and you go, "There's no way that's him." Oh my God, he voiced this. I think it was Balto and Balto Three. <laughs> Which I know everyone. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it must what? Have been like a dad or something in that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, uh, it was it was real cool again to see all the staff. Uh, we we got to talk a little bit with uh, I, I hope I'm saying her last name right, Nicole DeBuck, uh, one of the writers on the show. Um, 
uh, again, a really cool individual and one I, I hope that we get to interact with more uh, in the future. So so that was all, all a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, we hit up the party floor after that, saw the Klingons again, went to the berry tube, um, you know, just, just having a good old time. It's a, it's a party con, Saber, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people partying. And then, uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm looking through Maurice's IMDb. He was bald, so so. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. He's also Mr. Big. Oh man. Yeah, he was Mr. Big. Uh, okay. Um, I, I Saber pointed this out to me like mm-hmm. Sunday morning or something, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, you're right. Like mm-hmm. it did. It didn't even cross my mind. Mr. Big from Zootopia, Maurice yeah. LaMarche, mm-hmm. and. Uh, yeah, so that's obviously, I'm like, oh, what a guy. Now I really respect his work. Like, all his other stuff is pretty good, but Mr. Big. He was Tapper, too. He was Tapper in wreck ralph Elf. Ah. Yeah, see, Sarah? <laughs> this guy's everywhere. He's one of those voices you're like, oh, my God. This voice gets around. Hey, Matt. Howdy. How you doing? Good. How about you guys? Good. <laughs> um matt we're just talking about uh babs con that took place last weekend um so then uh we move on to sunday mm-hmm. sunday we had our uh youtube panel uh a good turnout there we we had a really funny moment where a unikitty cosplayer um and this really creative and hilarious uh cosplay the way they did it uh worked their way into the panel room so that was fun um we also did a community guest meet and greet that took place on Sunday. Um, it's a kind of a smaller setting in a room. This is how they do it at BabsCon. So they have signups, first come, first serve. Had a great group. And, of course, it's always it's always like really humbling, too, because while Saber and I were there, uh, they kept asking us, like, you guys are going to be back next year, right? Like, please tell me you guys are going to be back next year. And uh, we certainly hope that that's the case because BabsCon's always a lot of fun. Um and uh yeah i had eggs benedict for that breakfast easter breakfast first time i've ever purchased eggs <laughs> benedict yeah yep very important it's really good did you like it i loved it it was great thanks for asking so <laughs> I, yeah so, so I then just, i have mixed feelings on eggs benedict oh well we'll get into that in a second i'm <laughs> curious to hear why um can't interrupt the important stuff well i was gonna say the the the, where it got this convention got weird again is just in the schedule uh which babscon knew probably from the moment that they booked these dates that all right this is gonna be interesting (laughs) monday monday what monday morning was our who's line um and uh it was just weird being at a convention on a monday um we were legit like worried because we were talking to a lot of people throughout the weekend about like who's gonna be here on monday and we weren't seeing a lot of response and we we're like oh my god no one's gonna be at the who's line panel no one and we had a really really good turnout yeah we had, huh, we had quite a few people show up and they had lots of energy the audience was great yeah yeah, Dusty, Dusty working with the audience real good. Again, uh, another shout out to Jordan Alling. Um, he uh, he was our musician up there. De Wilsonator, Silver Quill, Saber, and myself. Um, just uh, yeah, just a really fun panel. Hour and a half of of wild and craziness. You waving? I'm uh, I'm just uh, waiting for my little bit of credit. Oh my god! <laughs> Sarah's waving. I'm like, we don't even have a camera. No one can see you. <laughs> uh, you mean the fact that Sarah put together this incredible who's line? Yeah. Thank you, Toodles. Thanks. Yes. Single handedly. Single handedly. <laughs> yeah. I don't if know y'all why. have never put one of these together, there is a lot of work that goes on to give them stuff to work with. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I do this by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like nobody else enjoys doing it, so I'm just like, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> wow, um, call everyone out. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not calling them out. I'm no, just I know. saying it's, it can be tough um, to think of things. Uh, no, I hear you. Um, yeah, but that's again why we really appreciate you know 
Sarah and doing all this stuff. And obviously a lot of the people part of this podcast have helped putting these games together in the past. Um, but yeah, Sarah, there, <laughs> it was a very interesting who's line. Um, there for, for multiple reasons. Um, but, uh, overall I I'd say once again, it was a great success. A lot of fun to, uh, have, uh, we got Nairo in the chat saying, Sarah says, I'm going to destroy that games, the innuendo games, whole career. <laughs> Yeah, which I, I pretty much did. <laughs> so there was a game that we did uh, called <laughs> You Know What I Mean. And um, it's it's essentially, it's it's set up to be an innuendo game. Yeah. Uh, and it it was a it was raging yeah. success. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah. Um, probably leave it at that, but uh, it, was, it was quite... <laughs> quite quite a, a morning and then uh saber and laura took off not long after that um of course saber and i got burritos one more time before it was all said and done yes sir and they were good as always delicious oh man such good food so yeah so that uh that was our our babscon adventure um again it was it was weird just with the schedule and whatnot but we uh, we also um, had, or I was gonna say they, they already released dates for 2020 for BabsCon. So in case anyone's like, oh my god, there's not gonna be any cons next year, BabsCon's already announced their dates, uh, and it will be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It will not be weird. I I think I checked. It'll be on Easter weekend again, as is tradition. Yeah. So I'll get more eggs Benedict or something. Now I want to hear. Wait, sorry. Yeah. There was someone that was notified about this podcast, even though they're not subscribed. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey T. Red. Now now T. Look, here's an opportunity. I'm not I'm not saying <laughs> to subscribe. I'm just saying, what if? What are the possibilities if you did subscribe? For your consideration. <laughs> Please subscribe. I'm desperate. No. Um. <laughs> but okay so that wraps up babscon uh again love that they had us out thank you babscon for having us um we had a, a great time working with most of the staff out there so just really cool um but matt you say you have an issue with eggs benedict i want to hear it well not necessarily an issue but a love-hate relationship poaching eggs on a commercial scale is so hard <clears throat> if you know what i mean uh that you <sighs> I don't know. When I've had when I've made them at home, I like them. But the hollandaise sauce can be overly heavy, and it takes up about the entire dish. A poached egg is a delicate thing. If you cook it too long, it's not worth it. I'd rather have them scrambled. If you get them in the sweet zone, eggs Benedict's amazing. But that sweet zone is so narrow that I've <laughs> rarely ever had it when I go out, so I don't really think it's worth it. Yeah. Well, thanks. It's kind of like me know. when what, I what order was... salmon from any restaurant. I'm just like, I'm taking a gamble because not a lot of people can make it right. <laughs> Either it's too dry. Well, yeah, it's usually too that's... dry when I order it. Interesting. Uh, that's fair. Um, I've had Eggs Benedict on <laughs> like a, a cruise. Um, but this is my first time actually ordering, like paying for it at a restaurant. So that's why I was like, hmm, I think that, uh, yeah, I think that I'll give it a shot. I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. Maybe I'll try something different next year. Who knows? Was it worth the price you paid? Um, I, I can't remember how much it was, but it filled me up. Like, I was a satisfied customer. I wasn't sitting there saying, I wish I got more. So... So there was I mean, that. that's the imp that's the important part. As long as you walk yeah. away from it satisfied, that's what counts. I I'm very big on enjoying food, and even if it's like, like I'm just like yes, Max's Diner. Um, it's called Original Max's, uh, out at Babscon. If if anyone's ever goes to this convention, it's a it's a good option for a, a food place. It's your typical diner. They have a lot of options. So if there's certain food that you're like, oh, I'm really picky, they should have something for you. So. <laughs> So yeah. Um, outside of all that, uh, Saber, I don't know if you have any anything else you want to say about Babscon. Uh, just it was a good time. I hope to have us again next year. Yep. Me too. Well, Sarah, that uh, that wraps up our Babscon conversation. Yeah. Should we um, talk about the blue hedgehog in the room? Mm. 
All right. <laughs> so who wants to talk about you mean what is probably who's who mm -hmm. wants to talk about what is likely going to be the highest grossing movie ever? Sonic like the Hedgehog. Gotta, we ain't got to talk about it. Like, we <laughs> just like it'd be cool if it's not. Where did they get off? <laughs> How, how dare they? How dare they do this to the blue boy, the fast blue boy, Sonic the Hedgehog? I just, I look at him, I look at his face and his gross human esque teeth and his yeah. weird human esque legs, and I'm just like, that just ain't right. So, for the benefit of those that might not know what you're talking about. Oh my God. What are you talking about? Matt, you're probably the only person in the planet Earth. Yeah, that doesn't help. I mean, probably, but I'm assuming there might be someone else. So for their benefit, as well as mine. Sonic. Sarah spelled so Sonic with a I'm G. I'm sorry, this keyboard is stupid and I'm typing sideways. If you had a cold, that's how you'd spell it. Sonic the Hedgehog. Funny enough, I am recovering from what? There's, there's, a, there's so a... many fan edits. Did you see the Nicholas yes, Cage I one? Yes, I did see the Nicholas Cage one. Oh my god, one. just Where put that up on it... the screen. Where did it go? Here, though? go back. Go back. I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. I'll no, do this. I got it. Okay. I'm not stupid. Oh, because it's part of the art. There you go. Okay. Just hit. hit. Here, um, here, here. I'm going to show you the magic. Okay. I'm going to show you the magic. All right. How do, show how us do I the do magics. this? So let me get to the Twitter screen. Yeah, I all right, this is the man we're talking about. Uh, it's, that's unsettling. Uh, so yeah, okay, that's not actually what Sonic looks like, but it might as well be because yeah, the real better. one it also well looks be. awful. This looks I mean, funny enough, I can easily see Nicolas Cage in it. <laughs> um, he apparently uh, has distinctive eyes. Yeah, let's actually pull up the actual screenshot okay. of Sonic. Actually, his eyes, remi his eyes remind me of the... Uh, the one above the pyramid and the uh, dollar bill, you know, for the, the Illuminati. I don't know if you're talking about the uh, the picture that we posted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, see, that's not the actual one. Here's the actual oh, one. Oh, I know it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. You, told, you, told, you told me it wasn't, but then I just got onto a tangent of <laughs> Nicolas Cage. Like, what the hell? This is like, this is nightmare fuel. It looks so not good. Like, I don't, mean, I don't mean to jump on a bandwagon of bashing this character design. Oh, I... Just do it. That was deep. <laughs> <laughs> so such such the uncanny valley oh, right here. It's so bad. Like it okay, so like really the first bad. time you see Sonic in that trailer that they released, I'm actually like, oh, okay, well maybe it's not gonna be. Yeah, because like, he's, he's head on. Yeah, and then when and he you looks, get into looks all right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> There's our screen. Then he done? opens his fucking mouth and is like, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I just saw this this tweet earlier. It has like Detective Pikachu next to Sonic. It says to obtain something of equal value must be lost. <laughs> that alchemy's first law of equivalent exchange. Oh, my <laughs> so when right. when uh... and, so so apparently he's not voiced by Jaleel White. Uh, no, no, he's voiced by no, Dewey voice Duck. <laughs> when, was the, when was the last time he was okay. voiced by Jaleel White? It's been like that was like in Sonic Adventure Two, maybe. Back, right? I don't know. Yeah. Uh oh. Did Look, you they, say missed, Dewey? they missed the chance to bring Urkel back, so you know. Actor. Urkel has some 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 Dewey some Dewey stuff guy. surrounding no. him, <laughs> so they probably were like, "Let's not worry about that and just not." I'm just. Sonic. I, I'm just gonna say it though. Oh. The moment that I found out. Oh my god. That <laughs> Jim Carrey. Oh no! He only did like the. Uh, Whoa. The cartoons. We got we got a super chat and we need to talk about it right now, uh, because uh, it's from Missy. Wow! Thank oh you, goodness. Missy. Damn. We're gonna upgrade Good our voice. microphone. I want to know how to pronounce your name because Ray says Missy, and I think it might be Missy. Oh, by what all means, that? correct us. Yeah. Uh, it says, I have to leave soon, but I wanted to ask a couple decent places to eat in Baltimore. Any places that stood out? Also, the Sonic character design is nightmare fuel and is almost exactly one-to-one -to, -one to the kid from Jumanji. Yeah. But he got turned into yeah. a monkey. Yeah. That is so right. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I didn't even, I was wondering where the mouth, uh, that's, that's it. Yeah. It's, oh, shit. All right. Uh, so, so as a did they correct us on how to say the name? By the way, uh, 
Not that I've seen yet. Okay. Oh, he has it correct. He has it correct. Okay, cool. Nice. W- wow. Wow, Sarah. <laughs> I, did, I, I didn't know. Oh, dear. I'm a race car announcer. I only pronounce half the names wrong. <laughs> so, uh, so um, I believe this, because as we've been discussing uh, in regards to BronyCon um, coming up, uh, places to eat in BronyCon. Um, I know Hero Paleo, you guys have all been, of course, Saber 2 have all been to to that area are there any food places that stick out to you guys ha <laughs> uh, Pratt Street Ale House Pratt Street Ale House that's the one Pratt Street Ale there, House there's some stuff near the harbor uh huh don't go to the Hard Rock Cafe don't go to the Hard yeah, Rock Cafe that. don't make that mistake <laughs> uh there is for an experience there is uh dick's last resort which is a a thing a lot of groups tend to go to mm-hmm. uh we've been a couple that is times. an experience sure enough yeah yeah i think it's overrated it's it it's might be. my my biggest issue isn't uh it's it's overratedness it's it's more it's just a, it, it's on the expensive side for what you're getting i think um, I'll never forget when we went there with Gabe and Nate after their performance. And, uh, Pale, I think you were out with Hero. Yeah. And, like, we were, like, fucking dehydrated. And we're, like, just keep bringing us water. And then a move that I can only imagine was, like, in tune with the sassy nature of their waiters, but uh, in violation of health code stuff. The waitress brought out a fucking trough for silverware, but it was <laughs> full of water. Mm. And she just threw the straws on the table, and she didn't drink out of that. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like I, I don't approve, but I'm fucking thirsty as fuck, so I drank out of it. Well, well, and it all makes sense. <laughs> we all did. Yeah. That was weird. I look back, and I'm like, again, it's like that thing with the steak, uh, sh- uh, steak and shake, where it's like, I probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have spoken up. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's cute. You begin it. You're angry. Can we get some actual cups of water, please? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> yeah, I... I I got tired of the the with the we mean stick in like a second, like one second. <laughs> I was like, okay, ha ha ha, but actually, so me. Yeah. What was that? What was that one? Um, uh, like seafood place, not Luna de Sol or whatever. Oh, that's the only um, one. The uh the other other place that was like uh, across the harbor that we ate at that one time, with like Matt and and the Creepers and stuff. Oh, uh, the Rusty Scupper, I think it's yeah. Called. That was I I can't remember, I don't even remember what I got. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably I didn't either. vlog it, but um, I do I do remember it being. I think it was kind Based. of on the more expensive side, but as far as as far as like quality and whatnot it was a very nice restaurant right there on, yeah. right there on <laughs> the bay right uh, and uh you're right there on the water so oh, wow. right there right the water right there um <laughs> trying to think uh, i mean they also have like some fast food areas nearby um there's a, a chipotle. jimmy there's a oh yeah there's a chipotle across the street yeah uh there's a jimmy john's and right <clears> nearby <throat> which a lot of people Utilize. Um, hey, there, there's uh, a five guys in that uh, place by the harbor. Pickles pub around the corner. <laughs> there's a oh, that's right. There's a barbecue place. I don't know if it's still there. Um, uh, I just saw the word barbecue. There's uh, a barbecue place that we've been to uh, once or twice. That that also was really good. I don't think we went last year, but but I remember it being good. Huh. Here, let me Fine. let me court, or right. navigate this you map. You take the maze. I love talking about food, so this was an excellent question by Missy. And also, while you're looking through that, are there any places you would suggest perhaps avoiding? I understand that individual experience can be. Uh, when you're Hard Rock Cafe but... sucks so hard. Yeah. Had, like, literally the worst From what people experience. have told us, they're, they're not any better. Like, oh, they, really? They're... Years yeah. later? Yeah. Shame. Um, yeah, we avoid that. That place was just straight up bad service. And, uh, I, again, like, Dix is, like, you can probably go there and get some food, but, like, I, I, I don't feel like after a long day going to a place where I get yelled at because it's their shtick. Like, I'm like, and, and it's, I'll go somewhere else. I just want food. I don't want confrontation. The pro- yeah, the problem with Dix is that I'm not trying to get yelled at. It, the, the cuteness stops pretty much immediately. It's too dim. It's loud as, oh, it's, <laughs> It's it's really really loud. I can barely yeah, hear. Yeah, people are screaming too. Mm-hmm. 
I'm like, like I'm just trying thing. to have a conversation with some people. <laughs> I'm tired. Like, <laughs> it's just yeah. the, the money to food quality is just not there, man. Is that is not it? <laughs> yeah. Now again, I'll be I'll be the one person to uh, throw a, a positive spin on it. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been there a few years, um, and it delivers what it it basically says it'll deliver. Um, uh, to Hero's point, that is actually one of the things I feel like is, is probably real notable. Because uh, I mean, it's uh, like obviously Dick's Last Resort is a place where they you go and they're gonna just treat you like crap. And it sounds so weird of a concept, but it it, it works for some reason. Some people um, just like it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's it could be again, it could be funny in a group setting. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but also, like Hero was saying, it's also very loud in there with the music and whatnot. Yeah. So it's it's also not like a great place to be like, hey, let's go to Dick's and catch up. Yeah. Right. Um, let's it's, just it's chill more, and have it's, a nice it's, dinner. It's <laughs> almost like going and seeing, like, it, it, not in the same vein, but kind of like a dinner and a show yeah. type of thing. Like, mm-hmm. you're, you're expecting to be... you're looking for the experience. Yeah, yeah it's... Yeah. And, and again, like, we've, we've been a few times. Um, uh, but... Uh, but it's also something that after a while you go, okay, cool, you did it, and then you know, do I care to do it again? Um, for us, there's better options for us to, you know, do. Uh, another super chat, by the way, just came in. This was from Wooten. So I, uh, a Wooten couple of us managed to spot this before heading to sleep. Excited about all the BronyCon talk. Hope to see everyone there. Nice. So Wooten. Um, was uh, at BabsCon, ran into a couple of us, and mm-hmm. got to talk for a, a bit. So really cool to see Wooten out there and kind of put a face to the name and whatnot. So yeah. Wooten, thank you. Thank you. I need to reply to their email still. What's the sound? I don't know. Is, some, is, somebody, is somebody shining oh, shoes? Oh, can you hear? I'm, I'm using a lint roller. Is it loud? Once yeah. Again. <laughs> 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 like opening, closing your blinds or something. Race, how do you sh- how, how do you shine your shoes that that's what that sounded like? <laughs> he wrong, doesn't. the wrong way. Um, I was gonna point out this too, and I, I don't know if this is the right spot, and you guys can correct me if you know. Uh, but if you go to the if you go down the street in the other direction, there was that like barbecue type place. It was not like a fallen barbecue place, but I don't know if it's the Sliders Bar and Grill. Is that what it was? That that we've been a couple times. It's a sports know. bar. Hmm. And I grill. I th- I'm, oh yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I'm I'm pretty sure what. Boogs Barbecue. Boogs. Now that's that we've never been to Boogs. Isn't that the name of the dinosaur? And we're back the the Triceratops. Isn't it Woog? Oh yeah. Um, Damn. Woog. Dude, that that <laughs> I can relate to that dinosaur's. The things I've stepped on. <laughs> The, you that want a hot dog? Is... Oh, do you want a hot dog? dog. <laughs> I love his appetite. I'm like, I lunch. <laughs> it just stuffs all of them in at once. Oh. So yeah, oh. so oh. Oh. you see, uh, there's a lot, a lot of options as far as food go. Now, uh, just to hit up on it because it was mentioned. As far as how far you travel outside of the area of the convention center, as long don't go north. Yeah, don't go don't go away from the water. If you're walking along the water, you should be okay. Um, uh, I think as far like we've maybe gone two streets away to get pizza mm-hmm. before, and uh, and and Gabe sang Lion King music at the poor waitress that was there. Um, but Why do you say the poor waitress? Because he was singing the, uh, what was it? Uh, Be prepared. <laughs> oh my! Then you may be caught unaware. She, I guess she gave Gabe a look, so he sang at her. But yeah, so that. Uh, thank you again. Uh, yeah, for the super chats. Our super thank chats. You. Uh, shall Indeed. we move on to Q and A? I think we're kind of done talking about Sonic. Okay. Yeah, I think all that was needed Carey? to be said. Oh, I never what? got to that, did yeah. I? Um, no. Yeah. So, <laughs> unfortunately, back to uh, Sonic. Um, 
there and and yes wooten we we, we treated her god that makes it sound weird when uh. i was a, we treated her right no um <laughs> if you know what i mean the way it ah! oh man so that all being said uh to finish up what what got us or the topic that we were on yeah. uh the sonic the hedgehog <laughs> movie i didn't know that jim carrey had any part in this <laughs> yeah. and that actually made me go like oh yeah, he's Dr. Robotnik. So, oh I, my gosh. Yeah. Are they calling him Robotnik in this movie? Oh, does, does he? I oh, hope shit. they're not sticking oh. with Eggman. I don't know, because people are saying Robotnik a lot lately. I'm like, is that what they're calling him? Maybe, I don't know. That's what I know. That... I I enjoyed that, that last screenshot of Jim Carrey, where he actually looks like Robotnik or Eggman. Mm. I don't know which name you yeah. want to say. Um, but... Yeah, I I saw a funny post earlier that said like Jim Carrey has back issues because he's you know he's suffering from carrying the entire Sonic movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, IMDb for what it's worth lists Jim Carrey as Doctor Evo or Ivo Robotnik. Yeah. Spoilers. I do. I like Robotnik better as a name. I I hope that's not nostalgia, but it very much very much so might be nostalgia. But I think Eggman just sounds. Stupid. Missy yeah. also <laughs> points out that if you pause the Sonic trailer, it says Robotnik on the truck he drives up in. Oh, neat. That's... That works too. Yeah, that, okay, then he's Robotnik too. Next. It's like right there in the movie. <laughs> and, yeah, I think he's going to make a great Robotnik. Yeah. Well, then the kids are going to be like, what's up, Robotnik? Is that a type of soup? They will learn well, I mean, and they will love children it. children's Sonic shows. Wait, oh, I guess those use yeah. Eggman? Yeah, those use uh, yeah, this is yeah. Shit. Mm. Oh. Mm. They're one and the same. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. Why not? <laughs> All right. Um, so, we... uh, Q and A. Yeah, let's go into Q and A. Let me just pop in the questions tab. Poppins the bag. So, uh, if I could guess, we'll I probably really we'll probably do about twenty minutes. What? No, then I can never remember the command. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll probably do about 20 minutes Q&A here. Uh, if you'd like to submit a question, there is the info to do so. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll also try and keep an eye on uh, on where questions are going. Because, yeah. uh, again, use the hashtag, but also tag the Semi-Perfect yeah. Podcast in it. Hashtag SPP questions, and that's questions plural, SPP questions. Oh, I just... Artie Spartan so, wanted to talk about Sanic. Uh, uh-huh. Sorry, RD. I just saw that. Oh, well, Missy, you have a good night. And thank you again. Good night. Have a good night, Missy. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me get into Hey, that. good news, Taylor. You're, uh... Oh, wait. No, these are the notifications. Yeah, those are the yeah. Let's see if it works. SPP questions. Ash, paper. I'm getting to it. Like... SPP. See? The, the, why? What? Why is it... Yeah. Oh, what, what are you talking about? Okay. Taylor's questions aren't showing up. I don't well, know why. Well, how do you know? Because oh, okay. I would see oh. them. Oh. Because he already well, said one. Well, because I scrolled there. through the thing, so I didn't know if he well, well, it. Well, again, we'll, we'll double check that. Yeah. So, again, uh, hashtag SPP questions, but we'll also keep an eye on the... Uh, other and side. If you want to send us a super chat, those take uh, priority, and we usually like to elaborate and like spend a little more time answering those yep. questions. So anyone that wants to for sure get their question answered tonight, um, submit it through super chat. Everyone else, we'll see who gets their questions. Ah. <laughs> I almost said asked. It's answered. Duh. Yep. All right, you guys ready for Q and A? Hmm? Lay it on us. All right. Well. The first question, uh, should have seen this one coming. Railroad Bronies are asking us, will the Who's Line team ever do that game if you know what I mean for Who's Line again? (laughs) I hope so. (laughs) That's a hard question to answer. (laughs) If you know what I mean. Uh, Boy. Um, No, I don't know what you mean. (laughs) So, um, I guess I guess the easiest way to answer is that was a trial run that we did at BabsCon. Um, it was 
definitely within the lines of what I would call like a PG cartoon movie. Mm -hmm. Everything was in context. Uh, but it, it still scared some individuals. So <laughs> for, for the sake and sanity of, uh, of, of those, yeah. of others involved, um, I don't know. Yeah. I, that might have been a one and done for yeah. that game. I mean, if there's Question ever another, you. like, 18 plus who's line panel, that would Yeah, probably... maybe. It's, it's just, it would be, it would also be a weird panel to have in an 18 plus. I don't think so. It's, a, well, I mean, it's an innuendo game, but, like, as an 18 plus, it's, because, like, Sabre and I it, talked about this on Monday, too, about, like, well, would that make sense? And we're like, I don't know. I mean. Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, you know, because the innuendos are so extreme that it's not appropriate for a kid-friendly, you know, sort of environment. I feel like it's still a good fit for 18+, plus because you're still doing the innuendos. Like, I get where you're coming from being like, well, but, like, the whole, you know, thing with the 18 plus is that we can say whatever we want and, you know. But the challenge of the game yeah. is to make it an in, innuendo and kind of skirt the line. And just because you can say whatever you want doesn't mean that it's necessarily necessary to say it or even worth saying it. Yeah. Well, I'll be danged. Sarah's put me in my place. Jesus. I mean, uh, <laughs> that is her job, and she does it well. That's true. Uh, let's see. Here's uh, looking at questions. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on what's showing up. Okay. Uh, okay, so this yeah. is a question for, for those of you that have done it. Um, I imagine Sarah and Paleo will be amongst our people answering and i don't know about hero maybe um sarah you want to ask this one yeah uh noir asks with the sonic i mean the detective pikachu coming on the horizon i'd like to know the gang's favorite pokemon game and their starters favorite sarah? Pokemon game. <laughs> what is your what is your <laughs> 100% that was picked up from the micro on the microphone. Like... I have no doubt that that was 100% picked up. All right. Um, I think. Well, no. My my starter when I actually played Pokemon back in the original ones was Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh... But I gotta say that my favorite Pokemon game was Pokemon Snap. Um, <laughs> I actually really enjoyed X and Y, and my uh, starter was Froakie. And I named him Daryl. <laughs> Why? Why Daryl? I don't know, it was such a lame name, but I'm like, it's, <laughs> I, I love it. Is that, is that why you chose it? Um, or I was are you just looking like, back saying, wow? I don't know, like, it just fit him. It just fit him, and I was like, you know, it's kind of like that generic sort of, like, name, but I love it, because I was, like, in that game, I was like, I'm going to name every single one of my Pokemon that I catch, because I was just like, you know, that's something that I usually don't do, so I was like, I gotta name them, and that was the first name that popped in my head, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. That's a Daryl. Mm. That's a Daryl. <laughs> so that's a Daryl. That, that's in the name of running for baby names, then. <laughs> no. Mm. No. My favorite Pokemon game is, you know, Red and Blue. I I do like the Generation One. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I played when I was little. But my favorite starter is uh, Oshawott from Gen Five. Not because I'm in love with Oshawott, but because I love its second evolution, Duwat. It mm -hmm. is. So flippin' cute. Oh my yeah, the god. It's the best, and then you don't let him evolve past that. It's, right. <laughs> into that monstrosity. <laughs> you don't let him evolve his samurai because he rots! <laughs> Paleo, what's your, what's your uh, go-to Pokemon oh, game? Uh, Gen, Gen 5 is my favorite generation, uh, black and white. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, I, uh, uh, Snivy is my favorite starter. Nice. Uh, he, Snivy is just so smug. I love that smug look he has. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we got a super chat from Otto Naito One Princess Deadpool, yeah. uh, asking who would each of you ever cosplay from the MCU, 
And how much effort would you put into the accuracy of said cosplay? Oh, Marvel Cinematic Quick Universe. question. Oh, thank yes. you for clarifying. <laughs> MCU stands for Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, <clears throat> Black hmm. Widow. 100%. You, no. you would cosplay you would Black cosplay Widow? Black Widow. <laughs> I just wanted to see how many people would react to that. No, okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we did hear him, right? I mean, okay, we gotta, you gotta choose the tallest <clears throat> character. So Dr. Weird? Dr. Strange, Dr. you mean? <laughs> yeah, actually, you would make a good Dr. Strange. You actually would. You actually kind of would. I mean, <laughs> the, the way you roll, you very much would. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I were going to do a cosplay, regardless of which character, I mean, I would cosplay as, actually pick one and I'll go for it, but mm -hmm. if I were going to do it, I would definitely do it as well as possible. Okay. And we were saying you would make a good Doctor Strange. Oh, me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know, you... I, I could get behind that. Yeah. Um, who would I be? Take, takes a lot less time at the gym if I and then if I wanted to go for Hawkeye or someone like that. Oh, good point. Hmm. Got a friend of mine, uh, Berg. A few of you know him. He'd make a great Thor. Does teenage <laughs> nuclear warhead count? Because I know this person's probably. Uh, I mean, uh, Princess Deadpool is probably talking about like the Avengers sort of group. But... It says MCU. Okay. Well. By the way, I want to give a quick I like shout teenage out. Nuclear warhead. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to Scott. Mm -hmm. I see him hanging out in the chat right now. Um, Scott oh. is. We're gonna be seeing him in Seattle yeah. in just a bit here. Excited. So yeah, I saw Scott at BabsCon as well. Always, always a good day when you get to see Scott. Yep. So yep. Scott has a big part in running Everfree Northwest. <clears throat> so. Yeah, if you if you if you're at Everfree Northwest and you see Scott around, be sure to say hi and thank you and give him a high five and I don't know if he like hugs. Oh, is that the name? Negasonic Teenage Warhead? Uh, Warhead? Is that? Oh, I don't I, know. I don't know. I thought I thought it was nu something nuclear. Right. <laughs> just, it. Scott says the checks in the mail. Like sweet. I'm already oh. like fifty percent at you know. Negasonic. Oh, is it? Shit. Wait, you Negasonic would be her? Teenage Warhead. Yeah. But she... Look, her haircut is basically like... That's like, true. Exactly my haircut. But like... She's flipping... Up. Wait, is... Oh, Deadpool's in the cinematic universe? Yeah. Deadpool no. would be fun. Deadpool's Marvel. I gotta admit. Yeah, but... it's Marvel, but it's not MCU. Oh. Yeah. What? Interesting. So that... But... I'll it's... give it to it's you. Still... I'll give it to you, sir. <laughs> But, but it's still Marvel, so yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, Paleo Hero. You guys got ones you'd be? Ants. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I I just need to make a helmet. <laughs> yeah. And like a suit. I guess I'd be Falcon. Nice. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of who I'd be. I'd be <clears throat> Thor. Yeah. Yeah. Grow your hair out a little bit. You'd nail it. Heck yeah! I look just like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> why, do all, why do all the black people in MCU wear masks? Valkyrie alone doesn't. <laughs> I mean, does, does, Nick, does Nick Fury count as part of the uh, MCU? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't wear a mask. Just Nick. An it's like a match. And he Samuel likes Jackson. cats. Help me out. Which one's Nick Fury? Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel okay. Jackson. Okay, 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 okay. Like okay. ultimate badass of right. watching your watching shit fall to pieces around you and then keep moving forward <laughs> like it never happened. Somebody, <laughs> someone says they see me. Pip says they see me as Star Lord. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. definitely. You would definitely be Star Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you wouldn't have to act to pull it off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you really wouldn't. <laughs> no. You 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 could get the personality so much. So all much. right. Well then, Star Lord, it is. Yeah. Have, have you not seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> yeah, Matt, yeah. I've seen every movie. Have I'm have just you checking because Guardians you... of the Galaxy, Matt. Yes, Matt, I have seen it. Uh, and yes, Sarah, I have. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. Um, all right, we've got we got another super, super chat. chat that just came in. Uh, this is very relevant. Uh, since, as we said, Scott was hanging around. Uh, Lazy Gizmo says, Going to Everfree Northwest for my first My Little Pony convention. Uh, any update to what is happening there and who is going? Can't wait to see you there. Um, 
Pull up the website. Pull up the oh, website. By the way, did Saber die? Um. Probably. Maybe. He probably fell asleep. He's probably like with Lammy. Terry, you're. What? You spelled Northwest. I am typing Northwest. like a little gremlin on this keyboard. I'm sorry. Go to events. All right. Click events. that. Click schedule. Schedule. Because this is where the good news comes in. The schedule is live <laughs> for Evergreen Northwest. Now, in two weeks, we're going to be back here. This isn't me signing off, but in two weeks, we're going to be back here. Um, by the way, just looking at the time, we'll probably go to eight. Because I'm, yeah. I'm realizing how slow I'm going with the Q&A right now. Are you guys down to go to Let's 8? Yeah, sure. Cool. Um, so you can go on the uh, Everfree Northwest uh, website. Their schedule's all up. Yep. Um, so we... Uh, let me see here real quick. Um, as far as... Yeah, so, so I know that... Um, Sarah and I, we're going to be at Everfree Northwest. Mm -hmm. Um will be around uh, Black Griffin and his brother for quite a bit of it. Uh, really excited because we know Eileen Monte is going to be there. Noah King is going to be there. Dusty Cat's going to be there. A whole slew of characters um, going to be hanging out. Uh, uh, and they have a huge uh, guest of honor list that's going to be there as well. Uh, you should really check it up. I call them the new six, but uh, a lot of the uh, or the student six are going to be out there. I see we got Tyrek and Kathy Westlock, who voices Spike. Uh, oh, cool. Nicole's going to be out there. Nicole DeBuck, Tony Fleeks, Brenda Hickey. DeBuck. 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 Uh, Terry Klassen, a voice director. Daniel Ingram, also going to be out there. Uh, so many people that are going to be out there. Um, uh, in regards to the schedule, uh, things to kick off Friday, May 17th, go till the 19th. Uh, I was starting to say this, but in two weeks from now, we're going to have, uh, we'll do a preview show and talk about where we're going to be. But uh, I do know right off the bat, Saturday is going to be a big day as we have a not one, not one and a half, but two hour. Oh boy. Who's line? Woo! Three to five Sarah, p.m. Sarah. Yes. If you need any help yeah. putting okay. that together. <laughs> oh, this and Scott you corrected me. You know where me. I am. <laughs> Scott says the student six are officially referred to as the young six. Yes. I I knew that. Um They got schooled. They got schooled. I got schooled. <clears throat> uh but yeah, a whole bunch of stuff that, that we'll talk about on our next podcast because our next podcast is gonna be like right before. Right before. So so yeah, but uh mark your calendars because again Hooves Line gonna be taking place um on Saturday from three to five. Uh we'll of course have a Bronies React panel. Um or yeah, it's gonna be a busy, busy weekend. Bronies React is gonna be at uh, six to seven on Friday. Uh, by the way, there will be a semi-perfect podcast panel, and uh, yeah, um, with your... AC Race Best. With AC Race Best. <laughs> I I think I put that in the title too because yeah, I'm like, take it. Okay. Well, the only reason I I've started adding names to mm -hmm. this is because I've had people be like, "Why didn't you have any panels this year?" <laughs> and I'm like. Ugh. I did. Yeah, so so we start putting our names in some of them, but yeah. but yeah, uh, Black Griffin and Toodles, yeah, uh, will be there. See if we could get uh, G Gabe's brother on there, probably also. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that should be a, a dandy of a time. And then there's so much more uh, that we're gonna be doing. There's also a community guest meet and greet on Sunday, but like we mentioned, uh, the schedule is live. So go ahead and check it out, and cannot wait to see. Everyone that's going to be in Seattle, this is going to be so, so sad much. We'll fun. be able to make it to that. That's that. That is probably one of my favorite conventions. Why yeah. aren't you going, Matt? Time, mm. money. Primarily money, but money's a function of time. Time, at least in my business. Have you been convinced yet to go to BronyCon? I'm getting ever closer. <laughs> it, it, it's the flight there and back again yeah. that's uh, the bit, biggest hurdle to clear at the moment. Everybody in the chat that wants to see Panama Man at Burning Con, sound off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what don't, wait, don't wait too long. Those those flights only get more expensive. <laughs> yeah, they do. But I figure we're still within that 60 to 90 day window, so I yeah. have some time to play with. Oh, my God. Is it that soon? 
Look at that. August uh, 1st to 4th. Yeah, yeah we are so three months one... away from the last BronyCon. Mm. Crazy. So it's going to go up. It'll go back down, I figure. And hopefully between now and then, I can sock away enough that uh, I can take the luxury of taking some time off. Nice. Lazy Gizmo. I'd love to be there. Thank you for your super chat. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, okay, going back to the questions, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop into the notifications real quick, just to see how those are all looking. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> let's see here. Scrolling, scrolling. I, I, the, uh, the big reason I'm scrolling. Wait, 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 you in notifications. Because I wanted to see here. Oh. oh, so this is so funny. Now, I missed a question from uh, from Taylor last time, um, Kyle Bush fan. So I wanted to make sure that I get his question this time. Mm -hmm. uh, because for some reason, the hashtag, like, we could see it in the notifications. So mm -hmm. I don't know why we're not seeing it there, but you have the right hashtag. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question is, what are you most looking forward to at Everfree Northwest? <laughs> having a fun time cookies the hotel has cookies <laughs> uh, excellent very excited about that who's line it's gonna be wild mm -hmm. they always are um taylor asked me a question last time and i missed it and i loved it actually it was a question in regards to um uh they're asking or taylor was asking if i would ever take up like if i was hired by nbc to be a racing announcer would i do it i was like Heck, yeah, I would do it. The question came up because of uh, a, a different race he saw me announce at. So. Mm -hmm. He was very, he flattered me. He said, well, you did so good. And I said, thank you so much. <laughs> Is anyone else waiting for Gabe to just show up any yeah. second right now? Yeah. All mean, right, uh, we got another super <laughs> chat, by the way. Uh, from <laughs> I, I want to read this one. Okay. From Ryan. Ryan. God, I, I'm doing well Ryan. so far. Excluding your precious MLP. What are your other favorite hub slash Discovery family shows? Paleo. Dan versus. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Dan versus is great. It's hilarious. I haven't watched a lot of that, but I did like what I did see. Hmm. Um, is Fraggle Rock still airing on Hub? Because that would probably was be it? my. It was it, it it was at some point, but I think it still is. So if it, it still is, that's my other favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just saw the. I, I do me on that. I saw. Um, oh wait, and no, I, I still have to answer this question. Yeah. Uh, besides My Little Pony, yeah, I don't know what, what else do you watch on. I like the, the cartoons. <laughs> uh, cartoons. I like the, that was sweet. I meant to say the commercials. I saw one where it's like get get get. Oh no, I hate that one. Um, but there was that there was that commercial for like, hey, buy this animal that poops. Mm -hmm. Poopsies. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I literally like, I'm like, what the hell? Poopsy surprise! I don't know. There's like a lot of poop related toys coming out. There's like fart ninjas. Oh great! And let me just tell you now. Let me just warn you ahead of time. You know what's funny about where is this gonna go in the future, guys? What are these kids gonna grow up being into? <laughs> Uh, My Little about, Pony was the answer. <laughs> that was what I was going to say. That came from the company that I used to work at. <laughs> good. And the Very tagline good. is silent but deadly. I don't, I don't know if I've seen any... Oh, wow. Silent <laughs> yeah, but, but deadly. deadly. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen any Hub or Discovery Family shows. Have I? I don't think so. I, you've watched hey, like five thousand Puppies was not special. bad. What? What did you guys say? They said Lilith's Pet Shop. I said Pound Puppies wasn't bad. I haven't Pound seen Puppies was, uh, Pound Puppies, like, I watched, like, an episode or two with Paleo, and I was like, huh, it's not bad. I know, I right? I actually watch it. <laughs> so there's it a, wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. So there's a Lilith's Pet Shop and a Pound Puppies show now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, Lilith's Pound Puppies Pet apparently Lilith's, ended in 2013. Mm. Yeah, Lilith's Pet Shop was actually... Pretty good. Whenever it focused on the not human girl, it was good. <laughs> so you mean about the actual pets that the show yes. was about? Hmm. Yes. Uh, we got a question from Artie Spartan mm. asking, so when is Fireteam Harmony on the Semi-Perfect Podcast? Actually, it's it's phrased, so Fireteam Harmony on SPP when? Sarah, when? I don't know. 
You know the answers. You've got the answers. Dun, dun. I think that's, that's up to you. <laughs> oh, up to me. Uh, we have a question from Cadet. Cadet Redshirt asking, what has been your favorite movie from the past three months? I've oh, been dead in Australia, so I haven't <laughs> seen anything since December. Oh, past three months. I mean, months. Th- this, this will explain why Race and Sarah were giving me such uh, relative shit for uh, my comment about Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't That's think I've seen shit. a movie in the last three months. He said a bad word. Alright, pass through. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was a G rated one. Uh, you I have to think. Fucking of, idiot. Oh. I have to think of what came out in the past three months. Past three months? Uh, Wreck It Ralph. No. Okay, so that came out seven that's, months that, ago. That's, that's, yeah, that's not the past three All months. Right. Um, well, I mean, I enjoyed Endgame and I enjoyed uh, Alita Battle Angel. Um. Hmm. Lego Movie Two. Oh yeah, was that three months? No, we didn't like that. That was a bad movie. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> I, I honestly need to look at yeah. at what's. Now you're gonna type like a gremlin. Yeah, but at least I can type. No, I can type. Usually, I type real good. Oh, Artie's like... Artie Spartan said we're fighting at the next convention. Uh oh. It's okay. I probably deserve it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Have you seen? Oh yeah, there was Shazam. What about Dumbo, Sarah? No, you forgot Dumbo. about Dumbo. <laughs> Shazam Wonder... was pretty good. What about a Wonder Park, Sarah? What about Wonder Park? Uh, it was cute. What about Missing Link? That was cute. I I don't think we ever talked about that movie, but oh, did we? Fuck. That's I think we did. I think we did like a non-spoiler talk about it. But I I enjoyed Missing Link. Like it's not like the best movie ever, but I, I it was fun <laughs> to watch. Um, How to Train Your Dragon Three. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, that was a really good one. I'm sorry, what was what was the question? What what's favorite your favorite movie, movie? movie? In the last three months. In the last few months. Last three months. Three months. When did yeah. Deadpool Two come out? Last year. <laughs> <laughs> That dead, Deadpool like, 2 last May? has been on my box for like six months <laughs> to watch. I think the only movie I've seen in the last few months is How to Train Your Dragon 3. And Lego Movie 2. Oh, Lego Movie 2. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, that's hard. I, I, I think I enjoyed those literally the exact same amount. You're lucky. Lego Movie 2 would have been irrelevant for this question in a week. Hmm. <laughs> I think I like Lego Movie Two just a hair more. I would say. Like Yay! Movie two. Then what? Then How to Train Your Dragon Three. Oh. Yeah. I do love How to Train Your Dragon Three, but Lego Movie Two had some really good stuff in it. I I I'll probably actually say Endgame. Yeah. Was yeah, probably... I do like Endgame a lot. Yeah, like I I, I, I look yeah. I again not getting into spoiler territory with this but uh i i had emotions that i felt during that movie so yeah it was it was a lot more emotional than uh infinity war yeah yeah i would have to say either in game or alita yeah hmm. were my top movies in the past yeah. three months i still need to be alita and, and shazam all right uh let's see here okay i got a question from from someone in England, apparently. Ahoy, dur. You've turned into a lamp ladder on us. <laughs> what the heck is this? Uh, mm. I, I just have to ask this to figure out what... Uh. Soren is asking very important questions. Saber Spark said on an earlier episode, mid-80s. Oh, of Semi-Perfect Podcast. Okay. You said Rainbow Dash's butt was small. AC Racebus said he would get back to that later, but never did. So we will address it now. Why did you okay. say that? Oh, do you think she has a bad butt? <laughs> I'm pretty sure her butt is exactly the same size as everybody else's because they all have the same Not base body. <laughs> all butts are created equally. Yeah. And if nothing else, she works out a lot, so it probably would be a tad more svelte. I'm sorry, what was that word that you just said? Svelte? Svelte? S-V-E-L-T-E. Svelte. S-V-E-L-T-E-E. There might be a D in there somewhere. 
Okay. Nothing about putting the just D in the bottom. Slender, no, no, no. That's so right. Okay, slender, stop, stop. especially graceful, slender in figure, lithe, suave, blandly urbane. <laughs> what? I, what is... I, I don't. Do, do you disagree with my word choice? <laughs> no, you're right. What blandly urbane? What does that mean? I, the the problem is I can't remember. I'm just saying that her butt. Is exactly like everybody else's. So disagree. Objectively, <laughs> her butt is exactly the same everyone else's. So her butt you, is you, not. You disagree, smaller, Ray. Smaller. So you disagree. Who uh, has the best butt? Then? They have okay. the same exact base body for both the ponies and the equestrian girls. Thanks for teaching me the word felt. <laughs> we learned something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, uh, Soren, I you, genuinely you, you taught me so much about kanji and hiragana. So, uh, well, <laughs> in a world where you know there was actual body diversity in either pony verse or equestrian girls, I would, I would, I would say Rainbow Dash would have a svelte butt, which would be <laughs> I, kind of like a a more tight butt. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Blandly or vain butt. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Um, so, uh, sorry, Soren, I don't, I don't remember. I, I, I can't even recall. This is, I'd have I to, feel like I'd have to hear it in, it. I'd have to hear it in context. Yeah. Uh, cause it was probably like a joke that was, that we were on for yeah. a bit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, making sure that we get, uh, people. Fritz Roll asks, has there ever been a time where your guys' videos went public on YouTube even after getting copyright claimed and failed to get your dispute approved. Uh, there's been videos that were public already and got claimed and I think, Paleo, have you had this happen to you? Essentially what? not having luck disputing a copyright claim? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I have too. So... It, it happens. Um, sometimes you're able to actually get in contact with the actual company but uh, and, and kind of at least negotiate your way out of it. But if it's just a copyright claim, usually it just makes you go, dang it, that sucks because I can't monetize it. But hopefully the, the ability to view it isn't gone. So that's the biggest thing for me is if someone gets claimed, I'm like, just tell me it's not blocked in countries. Uh, Railroad Bronies asks, what did Toodles say when you brought home the trains from BabsCon? <laughs> All right. Do we want, like, the honest answer? Yeah. Okay. I, as much as I enjoy the trains, I was, it, it came, they came in right after we had just donated a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm just like, now we got more stuff. <laughs> 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 but I do like the trains. They're cool. Um, I haven't had my own train in like a while. Yeah. And like, it's probably something that will set up like maybe around the Christmas tree. Hey! During Christmas time, we'll put a track around the Christmas tree because that's what my family used to do for a few years when I had a, yes. when I had my own train. It's a lovely tradition. Yes. Yes. See, we got rid of stuff, so I brought <clears throat> more stuff. Yeah. To fill in that gap. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love it. For those that don't know, check out the vlog. Uh, railroad Bronies gave me a whole bunch of railroad. Well, I should say trains. Oh, heck yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Send me pictures. <laughs> here's a question Tra from... Trains are awesome. I'm, I'm curious for everyone else because I think everyone's heard my story on this. Pip is asking, what's the worst fan experience you've had? Any of you? Can I guess I mean, pleasingly, saying? I don't think I've had many. Yeah, you could guess mine. Is it when the guy kissed you on the neck? Yeah, it was just, <laughs> it was just like, that was unpleasant. Yeah. I think that guy was at BabsCon, by the way. <laughs> I think I saw him. Wasn't um, there a person randomly handing out meat? Uh, I, I think that was Drummer Shy with Bologna. Oh, <laughs> So yes! Drummer, Drummer Shy was your, first, your worst <laughs> fan experience? Oh, no, I'm not saying had. that was mine. I'm just, I'm just trying to remember. I thought there was one, and... It, it, as far as weird, it's okay, or like Matt. We won't tell. We won't tell Drummer Shy you said that he was the worst fan <laughs> experience of your life. Well, he didn't give me any baloney. Oh, oh, he wow. wanted the baloney. Robbed. No, I'd rather go with corned beef or pastrami, personally. <laughs> oh man, 
we only have time. time anyone has come up to me being like hi you're that guy who makes the music I'm like, yeah, that's me. They've been really pleasant. I don't really have a voice. Good. Most of the people yeah, I mean, have been great. Pleasingly, pretty much every fan experience I've had, to the extent that I can claim to have had a fan experience, has been great. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, <laughs> On the internet, it's a different story, though. <laughs> <laughs> On the internet, all bets are off. Buckle up. Waddles has a question. Uh, now, again, this is this isn't... Spoiler territory if anyone cringes when they hear the word. Thoughts on Avengers Endgame crushing the box office records in worldwide. So so we're specifically talking about its run monetarily. Paleo, I know you've been paying attention on this. Yeah, I've been keeping up with it. Um, I, heard, so... I heard Endgame's been doing really badly lately. Comparative to what they expected it yeah, to? Uh, or... I, 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 I'm just joking. It's doing phenomenally. It's the first billion. movie in history to get over a billion dollars at its opening weekend mm. yeah, uh, worldwide. Because yeah. if you expect it to make a trillion bucks and it makes 999 billion. <laughs> <laughs> a little disappointed. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's expected to pass up like Titanic this weekend, which, yeah, the last time that happened was Avatar. And it's probably going to pass up Avatar. Why is Avatar so high? <laughs> The movie's not even that good. I know, but it was the spectacle at the time. It was the visual. Yeah, it was uh, It was when 3D was like, oh, 3D is going to be the next yep. big thing yep. again. And it's, it's also why uh, Alice in Wonderland did so good. And they're like, all right, time to really cash in on the sequel. And it just went. So it's Alice in Wonderland's fault is why we have all these Disney remakes. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, what's funny is Alice in Wonderland, a lot of people speculate that the reason it did so well outside of it being in that oh 3d run was also because it was out i believe at the same time avatar was and when people couldn't get into the theater at avatar apparently yeah it's still common for people to be like well i'll just see alice and there yeah. you go because uh, avatar didn't really have a big opening but it had like a, a uh like a it long grew. running like like theater run so uh, so it did a frozen yeah legs baby them yeah ways. and it was like really popular uh, uh overseas and in, in the asian market too yeah <laughs> all right so we're gonna finish off with this question here uh again i hopped back on the other side and for some reason this one didn't go through from nora asking a question for sarah a rarity i know but just go with it mm-hmm. nora wants to know or says, I just got an Amazon Echo from my work friends as a graduation present. What do I do with it? Put it in the trash. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I mean, <laughs> mostly what I use it for on a practical everyday level is I usually ask Alexa the what the weather Wait, is. Wait, that's Alexa? Yeah, that's an Echo. I yeah, thought it was, it was called same. Alexa. I no, could also Echo. call her Echo. Yeah, it, it, like, the, the device, device is... Not- I don't know why they Amazon changed the names Echo, of it. But then, the, like, the name that you can use to activate her is Alexa. Um, yeah, a- Alexa is the person that wedged into the Echo. I'm also very sorry for everybody who owns an Alexa or Echo device right now. Why? Uh, why? If they're, like, listening to it on oh. the <laughs> <laughs> Alexa! Play Rick Roll. Wait. Hey, Alexa. Fart. You're welcome. Okay. Um, so usually I just ask... Hey, Alexa. <laughs> release Order the Kraken. Tells. Release the Kraken. You lose like three viewers because they actually got their Kraken released. So yeah, usually I ask about the weather. Um, I have it hooked up to my Amazon <laughs> account, so it'll... <laughs> Um, I usually have it, I have it connected to my Amazon account, so it'll let me know when I have a package, like, that's in the mailbox, um. That's creepy. And it, awesome, but not, creepy. It's, it's really not, um, I don't know, I, a lot of the stuff that people think are creepy, I'm just like, oh, convenient. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. By the way, Cadet, have we actually been setting off your Alexa? It probably. Do not lick um, the paper, kitty cat. What I also the... I used it uh, for a short while to you make ambient noise, uh, like rain sounds while falling asleep and stuff like that. Um, That's nice. Yeah, if you like, kind of 
you know, hook up your Amazon through, uh, I mean, your Echo through Amazon and stuff, you, you can, you know, figure out all the different skills that you can load up on there. And there's a bunch. Um, but a lot of the times, like, I, I honestly, I rarely use it. <laughs> I just, you know, I ask it about the weather and that's about it. Um, sometimes we like to play with it because it's fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. We um, tell it. I mean, I, I'll set it to remind things yeah. like way in advance. So <laughs> everyone forgets that it's there. Yeah. And um, then all of a sudden it'll be like, here's your reminder. Do do. Uh, to that Zootopia sucks. <laughs> that was the worst one. I didn't like that one. That was one that I said. I almost threw that echo thing out. <laughs> um, but with that, uh, again, thank you to everybody who submitted questions. Of course, our live audience, uh, our audience that are listening <clears throat> on delay, and absolutely those of you here in the podcast thank you guys again for joining us on a wednesday night that is a semi-perfect <laughs> podcast we'll be back in two weeks that should be may 15th it'll be also our ever free northwest preview show that we'll be talking about uh stuff to come and who knows maybe we'll have more news to announce at that point as well a lot of things in the pipeline so uh yes sir one more thank you to all of our super chatters today yeah. oh my gosh yes your missy, generosity missy. is Wooten, auto knight lazy gizmo and ryan walterson and missy yes especially missy. thank you and thank missy. you <laughs> thank you to all of you um so much and missy thank you <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's uh, yeah, very very excited about uh, what's to come. I uh, hope you all enjoy the new episodes of MLP or episodes of whatever the heck show you watch. And uh, yeah, so Sarah will be back May fifteenth. Am I yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. We'll see y'all there. Good night from the Semi Perfect Podcast. I'm Ace Race. But signing out. Peace. Peace. Dem pony. Good night, everybody. Where is new episodes of Duck Sales 2017? Yeah, uh, I think some are coming next week. Oh, good, good, good. Have a good night, everybody. Oh, we're still not on iPad. We're off.